What's up guys, today we're going to do a full in-depth review of the iLumi smart bulbs and the iLumi app for the iPhone. I just want to let you guys know that this review is probably going to be a little bit on the long side, so if you check down in the description there will be links to timestamps in the video of different areas, so if you just want to see specific features like the music sync or um, circadian functionality just click one of the links down in the description and that'll jump straight to that section of the video so you can skip over and see whatever parts you want to see if you're uh, if you don't have much time to watch the whole video now I was originally going to show you both Android and the iPhone app but it seems like the iPhone app is more functional it's more reliable and to me it looks like they just ported the iPhone app over to Android because a lot of the UI elements are the same as the iPhone which is a little bit weird because when you're using Android you're used to certain menus being in certain places and using it it just feels like it was made for the iPhone and when you use the iPhone it definitely shows that it was meant for the iPhone because all the animations are smooth, all the features work perfectly, for the most part, except for um, the little issue with the uh, with um, the light bulbs not being connected, which you'll see later in the review. Now, as far as build quality of these bulbs goes, I'm very impressed with it. When you take the bulb out of the package, you're gonna feel that there's a weight to it. Um, in my unboxing video I said that it m may feel too heavy but it's actually not that bad because it's a solid product like when you if you shake it or you feel other parts of it there's nothing loose on it at all it is a completely solid product and you don't have to worry about the build quality of it causing any issues with your lighting or your home. Now I don't have any other smart bulbs that I can compare this to that's in the same market as the iLumi smart bulbs, but I did do some research on the Philips Hue bulbs and I'll show a comparison of what the cost is to get into that ecosystem versus using the iLumi bulbs and their ecosystem. The base price to get an iLumi smart bulb that you can control with your smartphone is $59.99 for the normal E19 bulb and this is currently the pre-order price available on ilumi.co. For consistency of the pricing I have picked these prices from both the manufacturers websites rather than going through pricing on Amazon or Best Buy or any other electronic store because they'll have running deals that may be higher or lower than what the manufacturers are selling them for. So. Just to keep consistency, that's where I'm getting the pricing information from. Uh, the prices are current up to November 8th, 2015. Now the price for the Philips Hue in this same bulb size is $59.95. So a little bit cheaper, but there's a big but here. You do have to buy the Philips Hue Hub to be able to control the, the bulb with your phone. So when you're buying a Philips Hue smart bulb, you do have to consider the price of the bridge which connects to your home Wi-Fi network. The price of that is also $59.95. So already, buying an iLumi bulb is cheaper because you can get the bulb and you can start playing with it with your smartphone without having to buy any hub or buying any other equipment that hooks into your home network or anything like that. Okay, so let's get into the price point of the uh, floodlight, the BR30 bulb. Uh, for iLumi, they're currently listing the bulb at $69.99 on their website as a pre-order. On the other hand, Philips is advertising their price as $59.95 for the floodlight. Now price aside, let's get down to the features that each bulb has. First off, the color range of the bulbs. Uh, the Philips Hue bulbs currently advertise as 16 to 17 million colors that they are able to reproduce. The 
iLumi smart bulbs on their uh, Kickstarter page, they don't list the exact number of colors, it just lists millions, but just from personal experience, you're not going to be disappointed in the color range that you can use with the iLumi bulbs. For the lumen ratings of each bulb, the Philips Hue bulbs for the uh, A19 size are advertised between 343 and 801 lumens. Uh, that lumen rating depends on what color temperature the lights are outputting. Um, I'll throw up the uh, color temperature chart uh, in the video. iLumi is advertising their lumen output for this bulb at 800 lumens. Now I do have just a standard LED replacement bulb, which this advertises as 800 lumens. I'm going to say that it actually does put out a little bit more white light than the A19 bulbs that iLumi has, but if you're using strictly the iLumi bulbs, you're not going to notice the difference in light output. You're just going to get used to what level it's putting out. And if you're using the circadian feature of the iLumi bulbs, it's not really going to matter because that's going to reduce the brightness and change the color temperature to something that is easier on your eyes and more comfortable to be in than cold white light. The lumen rating for the BR30 bulbs uh, for the Philips Hue, those ones advertise between 376 lumens to 630 lumens, again depending upon color temperature which I'll throw up the chart and you can see that again. Whereas the iLumi smart bulbs, they output 1150 lumens at their brightest white setting, which is actually pretty impressive. And given that the walls in my apartment are painted a uh, somewhat dark blue, that actually helps because I'm using the light as a bias light, as you'll see later in the review. Now, for actual power usage of the bulbs, I wasn't able to track down the, the power usage of the Philips bulbs, so I'll just cover the iLumi bulbs for now. If I find it later, I can throw it up in the, an annotation in the video. For the A19 bulb, the, uh, the rated power equivalent is 60 watts but the bulb itself actually uses about 10 watts. For the BR30 floodlight, that one is rated at an 85 watt equivalent and it actually uses 14 watts. So a little bit more than the A19, but it's a larger bulb, outputs more lumens, 1150 versus 800. Finally, let's get down to life expectancy of these bulbs. Um, the Philips Hue, those are rated for the actual LEDs within the bulb itself are rated for 15,000 hours of use. Um, Philips also has a bulb that just puts out white light, which is the Philips Hue Lux. That one is rated for 25,000 hours. Now the iLumi bulbs, on their Kickstarter page, they advertise the life expectancy of the LEDs in the bulbs themselves to be at 50,000 hours. So if that holds true, you're going to have these bulbs running a lot longer than you're going to have your Philips Hue bulbs running. Now I can only guess the reason why Philips bulbs don't last as long is because the brains of the operation is that Philips hub that everything connects to and the bulbs are just expendable materials that you'll eventually replace um, still less frequently than an incandescent bulb. And for iLumi, it makes sense to make their bulbs last much longer because each bulb contains electronics to be able to control the bulb from a smart device. I'm sure a lot of people would be pretty upset if the bulbs didn't last long because you're losing a bulb that you can control individually or together with other bulbs and if it didn't last long enough then that's a pretty big expense 
just to replace a light bulb and you'd probably just end up going with a regular light bulb instead of going with another smart bulb so if they make it last longer you're gonna be more inclined to keep it and just buy more bulbs to supplement them throughout your home this is going to be the demo of the iLumi app on the iPhone uh, I mentioned in my previous video that I'd be doing both the Android and iOS versions of the app, but it seems like the iPhone version of the app works much more consistently with all the features that it has. With Android, I wasn't able to get the torch functionality or the uh, shake functionality working reliably, so I'm just going to use the iPhone to demonstrate the features of the light bulbs for now. So let's get into the app. When you first open the app, you're going to be presented with, well, when you first open the app after you've already configured your light bulbs, you're going to see this screen. Well, it doesn't look like iOS is uh, immune from the issues I've been experiencing with the app. Uh, as you can see, all of the lights are listed in the app but on the right side here there's supposed to be a little square that indicates what color each light is. Obviously they're white but it's not indicating in the app and it is not responding to any of my inputs. When you first open the app you're presented with the groups that you set up after you have paired your lights to your app, uh, to your account with iLumi. You can see that I have living room and TV. TV just has a single light under it. Um, that is the one that's the biased light behind the TV. The living room are the two lamps, one there and one over here, that I can either control together by using this top one up here. Uh, if I change it to blue, you'll see that both of them change to blue. Or I can tap on one of them down under here and I can change one individually, so you can do it that way. When you're controlling just a single light, you can see that you have these colors along the bottom which are presets that you can actually add your favorite colors to so you don't have to keep trying to tune in that specific color every time using the color wheel here. You just tap on this plus. So let's say we want... They don't have a real light blue, so we can go down to there, tap there, add the plus and you can see it adds the color down right there. When you're picking a color through here, you can also adjust how much white you want in the light, which will take that color that you pick and make it just a little bit lighter depending on what you choose. And then this slider just above the colors at the bottom lets you choose the brightness. Once you get a color combination that you're happy with, you can tap this little camera icon up at the top right corner, and what that'll do is it'll save this configuration of colors for each light into what's called a scene. So you can see up here, this icon is flashing, showing that you've added a new scene. When you go into your scenes, you can see it down here. So I've already saved a few other ones, so if you see, if I go to blue, it will set all of my lights to blue without me having to go through each individual light. And then the one that I just saved, down here you can tap on and it will go back to it. You can also tap and hold and that will allow you to rename it to whatever you want. I'm going to name this one Sunset. Now the coolest part about this app is the experiences section. Within this section, you're able to choose different experiences such as circadian, rise and shine, shake, music, sync. Uh, you can even play Simon Says, which is just a traditional game that you know. With circadian, this will adjust the light color temperature and the brightness throughout the day to best suit what your body is actually used to in terms of light. 
So if I were to choose that right now, it would change all the lights to a slightly yellow hue, and it would also dim them down. So I'm going to turn that one on right now. So you can see it's put all the lights slightly yellow. It's kind of dim, it's a little bit mellow, it's kind of nice. Um, on my phone it does look a little bit white, but I can assure you it is a yellow tint. The next experience that you can choose is Rise and Shine. This is basically something that you can use to either supplement your alarm clock or if your body can actually wake up to just light, which many people can, um, you can turn off your alarm clock and just use light to wake you up, depending where your lights are in your bedroom or wherever you're sleeping. So when you go in here, you're able to choose what time you want it to start, which lights you want to change, uh, which days you want it to be used on, and how long the animation plays out for. And the theme is where you can choose which colors you want it to cycle through. So these are basically different locales and it's supposed to simulate the sunrise in that locale in your bedroom. For instance, let's choose Maui. And then we can hit preview down at the bottom to see what it's going to look like. Now, depending upon how long you set it to go for, this animation will last a little bit longer. So if you set it to five minutes, it will try it. It will drag this animation out for five minutes until it gets to the brightest setting, which is here. You can get the general idea of this. It basically just lets you choose basically your own sunrise to wake you up in the morning or to go along with your normal alarm clock. The next experience I'm going to show you is the shake functionality. So what this will do is it'll allow you to be able to just shake your phone, turn on and off the lights. Now I've had this mess up on me to the point where my phone won't see the lights and it won't connect to them. So I'm going to try this now and see how it goes. So if I shake my phone, they're on, now they're off. So right now it's working reliably. That's how it's supposed to work. You can even turn the screen off and have it work too. This next experience is called the Music Sync. This will allow you to use any song in your playlist in combination with its preset uh, theme. Uh, the theme basically just tells the lights how to change. They'll change to all different colors, but they'll either go slow, they'll go fast, they'll flash. It's, it's actually pretty good. Um, let's get into it and uh, show you a demonstration of a few of them. The first one I'm going to show you is the disco mode with um, one of YouTube's uh, free music from their dubstep library. This song is using the slow dance theme with uh, one of YouTube's slower songs.
This last song is using the blues theme in the iLumi app along with a blues song from the YouTube library. hope you guys enjoyed this video I hope I covered everything that you guys were looking for in uh, seeing the lights demonstrated uh, if, as always if you like this video please like favorite subscribe to my channel and leave a comment down below thanks for watching